Hello, my name is Tone. Hello Tone, my name is Tash. What do you do for a living Tash? I work as a swim teacher at the local pool Tone, what do you do? I am an actuary at a large firm Tash, it is really interesting and exciting work. An actuary? What is that Tone? It involves dealing with the financial impact or risk and uncertainty in everyday life, specifically I work in life insurance. Ah, oh, that sounds really interesting Tone. Could you give me an example of a problem you would need to deal with at work? Well Tash, just yesterday I had to calculate transition intensities from the Australian life tables, as the firm is developing a new life insurance plan for over 60s. What what what? Tone. What is a transition intensity? Oh that's an easy one Tash. A transition intensity is the rate at which a subject has the likelihood of moving from one state I, to another state J at a given time T. You've lost me Tone, could you try and explain that in English? Haha. -ha. Oh, sorry Tash. I forget from time to time that not everyone is an actuary. That's fine Tone. Anyway, I will try and paint you a clearer picture. Thanks. Let us assume that a person can be either alive or dead, and that a person cannot be in both states at once. This is our two-state model. Kind of creepy but makes sense so far. One state is alive and the other is dead. That's it. And now let us assume that this two-state model applies to everyone in the country, and each person is in one state or the other, there is no overlap. Still with you Tone, makes sense that if you are not alive, then you have to be dead and vice versa. Good Tash. Now, say that we group the population into each age bracket, so 18 year olds are together, 19 year olds are together and so on, up to the oldest people in the country. Seems pretty pointless but I understand. It'll make sense soon. Now imagine that whenever someone dies, their age and personal details are recorded somewhere. Along with this, each year the number of deaths from each age group is recorded too. Ah. Like on a death certificate or on some creepy government guy's computer in a dark room somewhere? Yes, that is good enough Tash. But anyway, all this data is collected as the years go past and contributes to the Australian life tables. These tables show us, on average what percentage of each age group will die at that age. So out of all the 18 year olds alive now, we could predict how many will die in the next year based off all the previous age groups when they were 18 years old. Seems pretty sad to think of young people dying tone, but it does make perfect sense. So what is a transition intensity then? I'm getting there Tash. So this percentage of 18 year olds that we are predicting to die in the next year, this is known as the transition probability. Remember how we had our two state model, alive and dead? Think of dying as transitioning from state alive to dead, and the transition probability is the chance of that happening. Ah true. I think I'm starting to see where this is going Tone. So what is the difference between the transition probability and the transition intensity? Colin well, a transition intensity is more interested with how the transition probabilities or chances of dying change over a very small period of time. How small a period of time? Well Tash, the smaller the time period the better. Through calculus I am able to estimate values for these transition intensities where the time frame is almost equal to zero, but try to think of the transition intensity as how the transition probabilities change as time goes on. Okay thanks for that tone. Haha I might stick to swim teaching. Thanks for listening Tash.